Mi chiamo Alessandro, ho 21 anni, faccio nuoto tre volte a settimana. Tre anni fa ho fatto un incidente con la moto, per il quale adesso non sono più in grado di camminare. Da circa un mese partecipo a una sperimentazione di questo esoscheletro, che è un apparecchio che consente alle persone disabili di poter camminare normalmente. The main objective of the Mindwalker project is uh, to develop uh, an assistive device targeted to spinal cord injured patients such that it allows them to recover their walking abilities and uh, insert again uh, the society and even normal social life. We have to work with the patients to adapt our exoskeleton, our tool for mobility, to the characteristic of the patients. And probably the future will be to have a system that can adapt to the residual capability of the different patients. So I really think that it's crucial to have, since the beginning of the research in this field, to have the patients and people that work with the patient involved in the planning and development of the research. The name of the project, it's called Mind Walker. The first part, Mind, because uh, the intention was to uh, provide a control of the supporting exoskeleton by the mind. So by extracting from the brain the control signals that would uh, be able to provide the kinematics for controlling the exoskeleton. We uh, got some difficulties to go that way. So we turned out to other modalities of control. Uh, one of them is called steady state uh, visual evoked potential, which is a modality of uh, control based on visual stimuli. If we have, for instance, four LEDs blinking at four different frequencies, it's then possible to say, I want to start, to stop, to uh, walk faster, walk slower, for instance. Another mod modality of control is the one based on extraction of signals from the, the muscles. We are taking the, the signals from the, the shoulder and when the subject is walking the upper limbs, so the arms, when it makes movement with the arms, those signals are processed and are used for controlling the kinematic of the lower limb exoskeleton. This assistive technology cannot be developed just within one discipline. So it requires a collaboration of engineers, uh, neurophysiologists, roboticists, and uh, clinicians. È fondamentale il ruolo del fisioterapista per cercare di unire i due mondi, il mondo della ricerca con il mondo puramente ingegneristico ed il mondo clinico, il mondo riabilitativo. È fondamentale creare un link tra la riabilitazione classica, convenzionale e la riabilitazione che utilizza delle apparecchiature robotiche o elettromeccaniche per il recupero dell'equilibrio e della deambulazione. It took about three years to develop the mechanics and hardware of the exoskeleton. And also it took about half a year uh, to develop the software, so the control, controller of the exoskeleton. The project uh, is a research and development project. So what we have uh, developed at the end of this project is a laboratory prototype. So it's not yet a commercial system. It's a system which uh, already uh, shown uh, a value because it is uh, practiced by uh, disabled people and help them to uh, train and rehabilitate uh, to, to the work. The competitors are not the other exoskeleton but the wheelchair. The wheelchair is a very functional tool in which we can move quite fast. It's a very handy tool. If we are going around with the exoskeleton that is bulky, we need the crutches to move around, then we'll never win as a mobility tool against a wheelchair. If we are able to incorporate the brain signal into the exoskeleton, then we can really dream of getting a better mobility system than a wheelchair. The result that you obtained uh, with, from this project so far 
are uh, already exportable. Our intention is first to approach the uh, medical uh, market such that uh, the system be used in a clinical environment. Afterwards, uh, we will uh, work on the uh, system to make it much more uh, robust and uh, handy and also cheaper. Per me è importante partecipare a questa ricerca per cercare di poter migliorare il, il tenore di vita dei paraplegici.